Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose coming with your weekly reading for the 17th to the 23rd of July 2022. We're going to jump right into it. Getting you your Oracle card. It's this card. First light. Oh my God. What a powerful reading. And I love this. I love that you are having that spark, that spark into uh, the unknown. It's hard to feel that energy um, and have that creative thing going. Uh, and this could be the sp first spark of a relationship, right? The unknown of where things are going um, is quite nerve wracking, but to continue on and, and, and face that is amazing here. Let's give these cards a shuffle. I pre-shuffled off camera, but I, I'll pre-shuffle on camera. If you have time, please like, share, and subscribe. Also hit the notification button. If you receive a message from me uh, asking if you want a reading, that is not me. That is a scam. <sighs> God, if this could be any more perfect, Queen of Cups, your center card. So the left side is going to be our life and our work life. And the right side is going to be our love life. That includes family, friends, etc. General love life, right? It could mean new relationship. Love reaches all. So I like to touch upon all of those relationships. Five of Wands. This is not a bad card to have. You know, a lot of people get scared of the wands. And uh, I, I, I actually don't feel any negativity with that. I mean, th it is some conflict and disagreements, competition uh, there. But you, if you see they're carrying branches here. So unlike them, you know, fighting with wands, I feel like carrying branches in this depiction is like abridging something. So even though there's conflict, I think you're trying to come up with solutions versus keeping into this uh, c conflict phase. I think you're you're moving past that. Okay, so three of coins. Death card. Eight of Swords. And you have the Eight of Coins at the bottom. You have the Five of Coins. And I want you to know that things are going to be okay. Everyone goes through financial, financial difficulty or money management difficulty at some point in their life. Um, you are seeing your way out because you don't want this feeling of of struggle anymore. I think that you're done and over with this feeling of being without and you're trying to advance yourself um, in terms of your money and career situation. There is going to be a transform transformation in that area. So whether you're getting a new job or seeking higher pay, you, you, you're definitely going to move forward um, in that is because you are in your true energy. You are getting your emotions in check. And I feel like it's been a journey for you. It's been a journey uh, because we have that eight of swords. You know, when we speak to the eight of swords, it's about some um, self-containment, not seeing a way out. But I think that you have your head down and you are continue, continuing to work hard, even though you're in this energy um, of loss and trying to figure it out financially. It's something we place ourselves in having that financial difficulty and figuring money out. You know, many of us didn't grow up with money and don't have any money management education. And I want you to look at it like that. This was an education. But very positive because you are working diligently and you're going, you, the eight is to the nine and the nine is about having abundance, right? That nine of coins is about having abundance and you're close to it. You're very close to achieving your financial goals. And this is not going to be for everyone. So if you're not achieving your financial goals, you're on your way to achieving it in terms of learning about money. In our relationships, we have the hermit, we have the star, we have the eight of wands, and we have the three of swords here. And the three of cups. 
Okay, so we need to have a team. We have we have to have one or two people that we can confide in that uh, can help us on our journey who is knowledgeable in that area. So who is knowledgeable in the cups area or emotions, who is knowledgeable in the financial area that can help us on our journey. I think in finance, you have someone, you're going to have someone to lean on and to really help you focus on getting out of the little bit of financial difficulty you, you found yourself in, because here's the spark of you trying to set that straight. Along with that spark, you're in the energy of disagreements, and now you're solution-based. You're solution-based in every area of your life. I think you are in the energy of going within and trying to figure out your current status of your relationship, right? I think that if this is in reference to a, a relationship that you're in, I think that some of you may be headed for some heartbreak here because it looks like things are not going to work out in your favor, not that it can't, it's the energy looks like it doesn't work out in your favor. You can change this. You can totally change the direction this is going into. This is what the vibe is. You can always change the vibe. You can always make an adjustment. These are not set in stone. Uh, you have the star card. So whatever your heart's desire is, it, it and if you work on that, it's going to come into fruition. If you want to work on it, work on it. If you want to release, then release. Something's coming to a head this week, dictated by that Eight of Wands. And so there is some news coming. So there is some information you're going to receive this week that's going to make you uh, make a decision. And this could lead to some heartache and pain. Whatever the decision is, is going to be tough, whether to stay or go, whether to keep this friend in your life, keep this parent in your life. I think you really need need to lean on somebody who's been through something similar um, and who's had to make that tough decision. Um, it's not easy for you because you are very emotional. You are very connected to whoever this is, and you don't want to see a failure. I think that that failure word is big here, right? I feel like you've been feeling like you've been failing at certain things, and it, it, it's truly you're not. Surely you're not failing at anything here. Um, you're learning, and it's been tough lessons. Uh, but there's no such thing as failure. There's transition, and there's lessons, and there's learning. There's also repetitive. And if this is a repeat of the past, we need to figure out how to turn that off. Why are we repeating the same lessons over and over again? What is it that I am not seeing? And I think taking that step back is going to be important for you. That hermit card is there for a reason. You need to take a step back and look at things and make decisions based on what you've learned. What is the common thread? I think it's a it's a week of wins and losses. You know, we all have that week where we start out high and end up low. I think either one is going to be for you. You're going to start out high uh, or you're going to start out low. But it's going to be that roller coaster of emotion uh, for the week for you. And I want you to be prepared for it. So this is a good thing that I released these uh, a few days before. You have the mountaintop. You're climbing the mountaintop to victory. And this is in all aspects. This is winning even if uh, at the moment you feel like not a winner. This is winning. Looking at yourself and figure thing, figuring things out is a challenge. The fact that you are willing to go within and make changes to your money situation as and also changes in your financial situation means you are at the mountaintop. You are seeing it for what it is. The handwriting is on the wall, so to speak. It is not a negative read. It is a reading of the way life is for you. Highs and lows. You're going to ride that wave. Be prepared for it. And uh, I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah's Spiritual Spot. And this is your reading. Please join me next time.